It's another casual Friday in finance here at Brookstone Financial. And this week, I want to talk about the market volatility. A lot of folks are starting to feel pretty uneasy with the recent market volatility, especially heading into the long holiday weekend. First of all, let me start off by saying this is well overdue. This little correction that we're seeing is well, well overdue. I mean, folks, we've been on one of the longest bull market rallies we've seen in history. And a very wise investor, gentleman by the name of Warren Buffett, said that the best time to buy is when everyone else is selling. And furthermore, there's a lot of behavioral finance studies that will show you that in, in reality, we should probably be doing the exact opposite of what our emotions are telling us to do. When we, like 08, 09, when we went through the market correction of 08, 09, I heard a lot of people say, you know what? I'm not contributing to my, my 401k at work. I stopped the contributions. I pulled them back or again, stopped them altogether. That's the worst thing you could do because the best time to shop is when things are on sale and there's a lot of sales going on right now in the markets. But furthermore, the way we position clients at Brookstone Financial is very important. And we do so in order to weather the storm or weather the volatility that we're seeing today. Now we start with what's called rule 100. Rule 100 is not rocket science, it's just a simple starting point. You take 100 minus the client's age. In this case, I'm gonna say I'm working with someone that's 60 years of age. So I take 100 minus 60, I end up with 40, put percentage sign or symbols on each, and the age represents the amount of money that they should have in a more conservative position. And I'll go as far as saying safety of principle. Now, let's draw a little pie chart here, okay? And we're gonna overlay rule 100 on that pie chart. First of all, here's our 60% over here on the right, and that represents our safe money, okay? So the older you get, the more conservative you gradually become according to rule 100. And the reason for that is, is because you don't have as much time to make up for those losses as you near retirement. The worst thing that happened to individuals that retired in 07, 06, is a market downturn at the beginning of their retirement. That's kind of worst case scenario. So if they were fully invested in the market, many of them may have had to have gone back to work. So the other portion of the portfolio, the 40%, if we're going to take risk, that's where we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with this 40% piece over here. All right, so that's the basics of rule 100. Now let me take that one step further before I let you go. So with the safe portion, what are we doing there? Historically speaking, if traditional mentality would say, well, that's bonds. This is bonds, this is stock, but not so fast. Here's the problem with bonds today, interest rate risk. Remember the teeter-totter on a playground, okay? Here it is, one side goes up. On the left-hand side, we have interest rates. On the other side, we have bond prices. If you ask yourself, where are we today with interest rates? Well, interest rates are near historic lows, still slowly creeping up, which puts bond prices at or near all-time highs. We know a rising interest rate environment is coming. It's already starting to happen. So what do we also know? We know that bond prices slowly but surely will fall. So I will go as far as saying bonds are probably not the best solution for your safe money, the 60% portion. So let me, let me talk to you about an alternative. We call it indexing, okay? When you're indexing, let's say I start here. Here's my starting point. I start with $100,000 in an index product. An index product tracks the S&P 500, very simply put, or maybe the Dow. There's many indices you could track. On an annual point-to-point -point basis, if the S&P goes up 10%, guess what? You don't get all 10%, you're more likely to see 5%. Year two, though, if the S&P falls in an index product, let's say the S&P goes down 15%, you don't make anything, but more importantly, you don't lose anything. So that year, you may get a zero. Year three in this hypothetical example, the S&P 500 goes up 20%. You don't get 20, guess what? You get 10%, okay? So you're giving up some of the upside, which is here, in exchange for protection from the downside. 
Now we expect index products to, to average anywhere in the three to five percent range. But again, you cannot lose. So for safe money, we believe that this is a very viable alternative and, and an uh, alternative to bonds, uh, for example, because they don't bear the, the interest rate risk associated with bonds. Now, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Here's one of the downside, downsides of index products. Index products are not as liquid as traditional stocks, bonds, and even mutual funds. So typically these companies will limit your access to the money at a, at a rate of up to 10% per year. But I'll tell you what, I don't care where you park your money, pre-retirement, post-retirement, if you take 10% of your portfolio value each and every year, you're gonna run it out of money. So 10% is a pretty reasonable rate of withdrawal. So we can take 10% from here each and every year. Over here, we're fully liquid. The older we get, the more conservative we become. Here's what we're doing and, and possibly suggesting right now with our clients that are working with Brookstone and in a very similar model. I mentioned, mentioned at the beginning, best time to shop is when things are on sale. Well, guess what? This portion right here is on sale. This is your traditional equity portion of your portfolio. Stock prices are down, the market's down. Let's consider taking the 10% free withdrawal flipping it over to here and buying while things are on sale. Folks, take advantage of the volatility in the markets. Don't let it scare you and don't let it keep you up at night. And if it is, you need to come see us here at Brookstone Financial. You can visit us online at brookstonefinancial.com or you can give us a call at 866-945-3220. Thanks and have a great weekend.